can you put this truck in trust? So you want to know how to put your Tesla into a trust, keep things private, or you're in the right place. Have you ever thought trust were just for the ultra rich? Well, think again. In today's video, we're going to show you how anyone can use a trust to manage their assets like a Tesla truck. This powerful strategy can put you in control of your financial future, regardless of your bank account. Stay tuned as we break down the steps to transfer your car into a trust or your house or a boat or a motorcycle or any other asset you may have. Explain the difference between TCUs, which are trust capital units, and UBIs, which is units of beneficial interest, and guide you through the formal exchange process in a common law trust. You'll learn how these tools can help you achieve financial independence and complete security. First, we need to start with four main points. Number one, understanding trust creation and the management role. Creating the trust is your first step towards managing your assets effectively. The trust document sets the foundation and outlines the necessary details. As a grantor, you can contract with the trust to become the general manager through a management agreement. However, you should not serve as a trustee, so to avoid conflicts of interest. The management agreement allows you to manage the trust assets and make financial decisions that align with the trust goals. This includes overseeing daily operations, transferring titles, and managing leases. Number two, legal protections and contractual obligations. Article one, section 10 of the United States Constitution for the United States of America, 1787, provides robust protection for your trust agreements, preventing states from passing any laws that infringe or impair the obligation of contracts. This ensures your role as a trust manager and the trust itself remains secure and uninterrupted. This legal framework protects your intentions in managing the trust assets, ensuring security and clarity in all your arrangements. My third point, Privacy and independence, my favorite. Managing your assets through a trust keeps your financial affairs confidential. The trust acts like a private vault, protecting your personal information from public scrutiny. Signing an oath of privacy is akin to erecting a no trespassing sign on your financial affairs. This ensures that your agreements are shielded from state interference under the protections provided by the Constitution. My last point, the difference between TCUs and UBIs. TCUs, better known as trust capital units, represent the capital interest in the trust. These units are typically issued to exchangers who invest property into the trust, receiving units proportional to their investment. UBIs, also known as units of beneficial interest, are held by beneficiaries who are entitled to a share of the trust assets. Unlike TCUs, UBIs do not involve direct management requirements. In an irrevocable common law trust, the trustees have full control over the trust assets, ensuring it operates according to the trust intent. Conversely, a statutory trust is subject to more external scrutiny and regulations, which can affect how interests are managed and controlled. If you made it this far, smash that like button and consider subscribing. We really appreciate it. Now for the good stuff, the five steps to transfer your Tesla into the trust. Step one, draft a proposal to the Board of Trustees to exchange your Tesla truck for the trust capital units. Include all detailed information about the truck, like, you know, how fast it goes, what model it is, you know, your favorite song, stuff like that. I'm just joking about the favorite song. Step two, the board reviews your proposal, records any negotiations, and resolves to either accept or deny the exchange. They'll document the minutes of the meeting and move on to the next step, which is step number three. If the exchange is accepted, yes, prepare the formal exchange documentation. Now, if you're not familiar with the formal exchange document, let me know in the comments. I'd love to go over that next. This agreement gonna specify the terms of the exchange and, and include the number of TCUs received by the exchange. Step four, execute the exchange by transferring the vehicle title to the trust and receiving the corresponding TCUs. Ensure all documents are signed under seal and properly recorded. The steps to do that will be found in the trust indenture. Also, comment below if you wanna go over a trust indenture, if you wanna see what one look like, comment below if you have one. Final step, number five, Update the trust records to reflect the new asset in the issued TCUs, maintaining transparency and proper documentation for all transactions. And there you have it, how to manage your assets by exchanging them into a common law trust and leveraging trust capital units. This strategy isn't just for the ultra rich. And if you learned something, please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up. It costs nothing. This is a dense subject. Trust itself is a very dense subject. But once you break it down into small, bite-sized pieces like this, you can see how easy you can move and transform your life for the better. Once again, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe right now. If you're interested in more videos about trust or maximums or of equity or any of those things, continue watching. We got plenty more to come.
Let's take this one step at a time, one day at a time, until we get to where we want to go. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.